Moses leaving Egypt. Abundant blessings of God, Moses decided to help the oppressed and the poor. He wished to relieve the poor from suffering and satisfy the needs of the poor people. One day, while Moses was going back to Pharaoh's palace, he noticed two men fighting hard. One from the Pharaoh's ethnic group, and the other from Israelites. The man from Israelites shouted for Moses' help. So he went ahead and hit the other man in the head. This blow was so hard that the man immediately fell down and died. Seeing the man dead, Moses was very distressed. So he froze at his head and said, "My God, I shouldn't have rushed to this extent in defending the oppressed." And now there was the possibility that Moses would himself get into trouble. There came another day when Moses was on the way to a certain destination. While he was walking, he saw the man he had helped the other day, who was again fighting with another man of Pharaoh's. Moses went ahead this time and said, "And truly, you are one of the misled." Saying this, he advanced to settle the quarrel down. The man from Israelite said, "You, Moses." Are you going to kill me today, just as you killed another man yesterday? Hearing this, Moses found himself in danger, and therefore attempted to hide himself in a safe place. Pharaoh's agents were after Moses, and they were searching everywhere for him, until Pharaoh's treasurer recommended Moses to leave the town to avoid being arrested. Having no other choice, Moses decided to leave the city. He went out of the town while he had no food and provisions with him. Moses got out of the town while he was worried and frightened of Pharaoh's agents. Having nothing with him, he was walking helplessly in the desert. So for some days. He went without food and water until he reached Midian's well. Some shepherds had gathered round the well under a tree and were busy bringing up water to quench their sheep. There, Moses saw two girls standing away from the well, who were trying to keep their sheep from approaching the well. Moses went to them and said, "Why don't you come forth and let your sheep drink water?" One of the girls said, "We should wait until the men are finished with quenching their sheep first. Then we are allowed to quench ours." The other girl added. Our father is an old man and is too weak for such heavy tasks. Moses said, "I will help you. Bring forth your sheep." Moses went to the well and took out a bucket full of water and quenched the two girls' sheep with it. One of the girls said, "You honorable man, we are thankful to you. May God reward you well on this." They thanked Moses and went to their houses. Moses too, tired of his long trip, took shelter in the shade of a tree in order to rest for a while. He also raised his head toward the sky and said, "You, the Most High." 
I need thy blessing and favors in this desert, and as long as I am lonely and defenseless here, I shall seek refuge in you. Moses was still praying to his God and thinking of his own future when one of the girls whom he had helped returned to him and said, My father wants to see you. He wants to reward you on what you did for us. Now come with me to our house because he is expecting you. Moses said, Thou great God, I shall trust in you. Now you show me to your house. They got to Jethro's house after walking for some time. There, the girl said, Dear father, here's the young man we have told you about. Shoaib said, My son, you seem to be a stranger here. Tell me where you have come from and what you do here. Moses replied, I have run away from my hometown so as not to be arrested by Pharaoh's agents. Shoaib said, My son, do not be afraid now, for this land is out of Pharaoh's domain, and it is not ruled by him. Here you can be safe from their harm. One of the girls said, Dear father, employ this man to run your affairs and help you with everything. He is powerful and trustworthy. The other girl added, Yes, father, today, with the help of this young man, we returned home sooner than every day. Shoaib said, All right, what is your idea, young man? If you remain at my service for eight or ten years and take care of my sheep, I'll let you marry one of my daughters. Moses said, As I know no one here, in this land, I'd be happy to be at your service. Shoaib said, I hope you'll find me one of the pious men of God.